Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I've been avoiding talking about this subject for a couple of months now. We're talking about Penn Foster. I'm currently in the vet tech program. I did two videos about it prior to this, so I will link those down below. And the reason I haven't given an update is because there's not much to update on. I have seriously been slacking on the program. It's very funny because I looked at a lot of Penn Foster videos prior to signing up for the school. Um, and a lot of videos are about people burning out. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not, that's never gonna be me. I'm never gonna fall out of love with the field the animal field and lo and behold I kind of have but let me explain I come from a zoo background and the goal I guess in life was to be a zookeeper as is my fiance but um, where I live particularly it's kind of hard to gain those positions because they're looking for a lot of experience and it's hard to get experience without having a position you know it's just like a whole it's a conundrum it's like how do you get experience without having a job? How do you get a job without having the experience? It's really fucking annoying. So I figured I would go the vet tech route just because having that degree, having that license generally helps. I've seen it help my friends in getting full-time zookeeper positions. So I figured Penn Foster, here we go. I love learning. I love the structured curriculum and stuff like that. So I figured it would be a good fit for me. And it was going really well. I passed the first class and then unfortunately I had to do some general requirements. So if you've already had prior college experience or credits, you can usually transfer them over but when I was enrolling in Penn Foster it was a whole annoying thing that was happening with my transcript getting lost and all that stuff so I didn't end up getting credited for what I have already taken and at the time I didn't care but now that I had finished that hard like the intro to veterinarian te terminology or I forgot what it is I'll put it right here it was great it was very time consuming it was a lot of reading I don't really love the structure but you know what I sucked it up I did well it was fine I learned okay that way but I'm not a great test taker you're giving two chances to pass every test not like the proctor exams that hasn't happened for me yet I know that happens with biology and a couple other classes but just the general exams for the chapters that you're reading you are given two chances um they're not super hard i mean i find them a little hard just because of the phrasing of certain questions i get them wrong when i'm i know the answer but it's framed in a way to kind of trick you because they're multiple choice so i'm not the best test taker but i still found enjoyment i still learned a lot um in the first couple chapters it's just a lot of information then i had to do like a general requirement class and i totally i haven't done it i've been avoiding it because i started a new job in the animal field an actual clinical job which like i said i don't have as much experience with more so zoo versus clinical so i was a veterinary assistant at a exotics animal hospital a very nice one one that i really really love um and I realized that I was just not very much in love with the field. Like I just said, um, it, it's a lot. It's not even the sadness. Like I really thought that that was what was going to get to me was just constantly, you know, restraining animals and seeing the sadness of animals that aren't doing well because I saw a lot of bird deaths while I was there. I think... Um, the one that happened first was an African Grey who was like 27 years old. He had just done surgery and he was being monitored and he just quickly declined and he died on the table like he was just gone 27 years old this african greyhound at the time was the exact same age as me and he passed away and even that death didn't really affect me like i feel like i've gotten a lot more um desensitized to it i mean i love animals obviously but that wasn't even the issue it was just something about being stuck in a basement because that's how the hospital was structured unfortunately they are expanding but it's like being stuck in a basement i was really mostly taking care of the boarding animals as a veterinary assistant you do help with restraining and with surgeries if there's enough of us but we were short staffed there was a bunch of new hires including myself and i just was at a i was i was thinking too much i'm an overthinker and i was just basically like do i really want to do this is this really what i want to do for the next two years until i get my license and hope that i can get out because i was looking at the vet techs who are you know above us obviously they're not only in pay but just they have their license they're doing a lot more of like administrating medicine and doing actual procedures and stuff so I was looking at them and even what they were doing I wasn't very like into I, I sound like such a newbie I swear I've been in clinical settings before not as much again like zoo stuff but I was just, there's a lot going on in my personal life and I think that seeped into this and there's a lot with everything going on that my studies just kind of fell away because I was like, okay, I have an animal job now. I want to get into the groove first before I start the next class of Penn Foster. And now I'm at a point where clearly I'm falling behind. So if you don't finish the semester in time, you do have to pay a fee. I want to say it's like 60 or $90. I'll put it up here because I don't even know um, in order to be given an extension. I know I should just finish the school, you know, do it for two years, 
do my clinical or externships or whatever that you have to do at the second year of the Penn Foster program. Um, but I just, I don't know, like I've just been at a standstill. It's been a, it's been a hard couple of months with really high highs and really low lows of, and just like, should I be going through this? And if I don't through the vet tech length or the vet tech program, what am I going to do? Do you know what I mean? Like what path do I have that can potentially get me from point A to point B? Because I live in a city. I feel like if I move to the suburbs, if I move to like, not the suburbs of my state, but like another state, there's a lot more opportunities when it comes to zoos and aquariums. But here where I am, it's very limited to a specific number of zoos, one of which I already worked at, one of which I didn't really love because it was super toxic. It was super bad for my mental health. And that's like the one area that is used as a stepping stone. It is very, very common that people will start there, even though it's terrible, and then move on to really amazing things. But now that I left that place, it's just kind of like, where am I going? What is, what's going to happen here? Do I want to do this? I love animals. That's never changed. I hate when I talk to friends and they're just like, oh, I didn't know you still wanted to be zookeeper. Yes, that was always the goal, even when I left that toxic place. And I knew when I was leaving that place that it was going to be much harder to get an animal job within that field. But I did it anyway for my mental health and because the people I was working with were just not great. My friends were great but everyone else was not. Now I'm at this animal hospital and I'm just questioning every single life decision I ever did. I'm a Virgo, I, I question things quite often and it's just been really, really hard. So that's why there hasn't been an update. I think I am gonna continue with the program. I mean, I'm still paying for it even though I haven't touched it in months. It's cheaper if you pay it. Did I, did I mention it's cheaper if you pay it full price like from the get-go instead of paying it monthly like me i don't know if i mentioned that already but if i didn't there it is um it's just been hard um but the program itself is good so if you're still looking for that type of information i still recommend it but i just don't know what i'm doing with my life <laughs> also the hours weren't great so then i have another job that i really love but that's not in the animal field and my hair is a mess now that i look at it it's just i'm a mess everything's a mess life is a mess so that's why there hasn't been an update i will I have to force myself to just continue at least with the electives and then get to the next animal course and then we'll see kind of where I stand and how I'm feeling. I've seen so many Penn Foster videos of people burning out or being like, oh, I don't want to be in this industry anymore. I changed my mind. And I would look at those videos and be like, that's never going to be me. And then here I am not feeling great about it. And I wasn't even working with cats and dogs. I was working just, like I said, with exotics, which is a nice thing and I'm very grateful for it. Um, I just don't know if I want to do that for the rest of my life. Um, even though this is supposed to be a stepping stone, like what if I just end up being a vet tech for the rest of my- I don't know, I don't know guys. See, like I thought being a vet tech was gonna be what I want. Like I thought I would fall in love with it more. Like, you know, I was doing this originally just to have the degree because it's gonna look good for applying to a zoo. I've had a lot of friends that have gone that route and it's helped them tremendously. I was like, maybe I'll fall in love with it and maybe I will want to be a vet tech. So feel free to give me your suggestions. I don't really mind, like just feel free to tell me what you've been doing, how you've been going about it. Um, living in a big city has its pros and cons. The pros being that there are all these amazing hospitals, that there are such talented people here that you can really learn from. And my job was gonna pay for the Penn Foster thing if I stay for more than a year. But um, there's also the downside of less opportunities, like there's more people fighting for it. There's people coming from other states, coming to this state because of everything that happened in 2020, that, and it makes, it just makes competition even harder. But yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you did. I have a degree in communications. I don't have a degree in the animal field. And I've seen friends that have degrees like in biology and stuff still struggle to get a zookeeper position. So otherwise I would go that route, but that's even more school, which again, I don't mind, but the money, the time, being able to afford it because I'm not eligible for financial aid. I'm already almost in my 30s. That would be hard for sure. So let me know what you're thinking. That's my update for Penn Foster. I know I disappointed a lot of you, but that's where I'm at right now. And we're going to see where I go from there. It's also a gloomy day, which I feel like really matches the tone of this video with the chaos that is my life right now. But if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time with another video.